Hey YouTube, it is Coach Summer. If you are new to my channel, my name is Coach Summer. Uh, I, I am a trauma coach and um, on this channel, I talk about ex my experiences that I have went through dealing with narcissistic family, friends. Uh, I'm going to get into all different areas of my life where they just kept coming after me, okay? And how I broke through, okay? How I broke through. I hope that my experiences and um, telling my stories would show you guys that you are not alone, okay? If you are feeling alone, you are not alone. Like, when I'm telling you, when, when someone sees me, they... They they don't see all they don't see all, all that I have went through, how much trauma I have went through, how much things I had to break through from, and I'm so proud of that. Okay, I am so proud of that, and I thank God every day. And I know you guys don't look like it either. So take one second and really thank God and yeah don't forget to hit like on this video okay it really helps me out and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but yeah let's get into this video that I want to talk about okay I, I wanted to talk about when I disconnected from a toxic relationship that I was in and when I say disconnected listen it took me about 15 times I'm telling you I think about 15 times to actually disconnect it will be month it will be like a few months here they come back get me get me again you know this is something that happens to so many of us it is a pull that they have it's like they get into deep into who you are and really just suck you in and it's hard to like you know you've experienced breakups with certain people or you stop talking to certain people but it's like it did not feel like this it seemed like when I disconnected from this person like my like my spirit was hurting okay like my spirit was literally hurting and you know it was like to the point where like I, like, I just knew I had to leave them. I knew I had to leave. I knew I had to go. But it was like something just, it just, yeah, I was literally, literally sick to my stomach, crying, crying every night, um, you know, trying to self soothe with alcohol or, um, doing other things to get my mind off it. Everything except for every, everything except for calling on God and asking Him to help me. When I finally called on God and asked Him to help me, then that was when it start. That was when it started really lifting off of me. Okay, that was when it really started lifting off of me. And let me tell you, you. I had to be, I just had to be strong, okay? I had to be strong, um, especially the last time. The other times, it was just, I always kept feeling like, it was like, yeah, I know I have to get away. Okay, I stopped crying, but I just kept, it, I got so used to him hoovering me that I kept waiting for him to, like, okay, he, it's been a couple, it's been, he usually comes back around the six month mark. So, 
he should be popping up now. You know, I was like, he still had me. I was still focusing on him, focusing on him. Like he still had my mind intertwined. And that is, that is because they have this certain, they have a spirit about them. Some people say it's a Jezebel spirit and you know, it probably is. I don't know what spirit it is, but I rebuke it. Okay. I don't know what spirit it is, but I rebuke it. And, and guess what? I, I see it on people. Let me tell you when, and I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not one of these, I'm not one of those people who are super, uh, just stuck on religion religion okay i am a spiritual person if you if you like spirituality and you and you want to follow me on facebook at love and vibration that's where you could get readings um you know um daily affirmations uh spiritual things and i talk about narcissistic uh, abuse on there sometimes too so yeah follow me on there but yeah let me tell you something i really had to go to god about my situation i really had that was the only per that was the person who was going to actually help me and i had um i had other i had to talk about it i had a I had to I had me a mentor I had me um spiritual guidance counselors okay you need a team a support system especially if you don't especially if you have narcissistic family and other narcissistic people around you you're going to need that because just like I got out of a situation I want other people who are watching my videos to live a fulfilling life without somebody sitting here um not getting stuck in trauma bonds okay that is no like we are supposed to be living that is nowhere no way to freaking live okay to f start feeling down and out i remember like oh my goodness like i just look like i just look run down Okay, I look run down. I look tired, and nobody asked me was I okay. <laughs> nobody asked me okay, but you know when they asked me okay, the haters, the narcissistic people in my life start asking was I okay. When I start looking way better, when I lost uh, um, seventy five pounds, then oh, are you okay? Are you sick? absolutely not okay i'm doing just fine just great without you in my life but yeah disconnecting from a toxic person let me tell you if you're out if you're sitting there crying you crying rocking back and forth you sitting there um you know eating whatever drinking or whatever doing, doing whatever it is to stop the pain let me tell you something go to God and come talk to me at loveandvibrationcoaching.com okay and time okay time like literally time and talking to God and everyone saying focus on yourself focus on yourself but we don't see I'm telling you, I thought I cared about myself, but I really did not see how much I did not pour into myself, how much I did not pour into my well-being. When you're used to being the giver, 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 you're not seeing that other people, there's people who really put themselves first. You know, if they're tired, they're going to say no. I can't do this right now. I can't do what you're asking me right now. Or if they're um, if they're going through something, they don't go and pick up the phone for other people. They focus on themselves. 
you know and I had to, and I had to learn to be a person who focused on myself and I had to understand that there is a light at the end of the tunnel don't let that pull for the narcissist keep you off track because when it's over when it's done you're going to see them for who they are i start seeing like oh my gosh like he don't even clean his house i was like what was i doing with him <laughs> i'm telling you after years i it was like a, somebody put a freaking spell on me and i just seen this amazing handsome charming person but really he was an idiot he was an idiot after after all the smoke cleared he i seen that he was an idiot you know he was just a bum and you know he just had he had so many spirits on him and they was getting on me I used to wonder why like why am I having nightmares like I was having like I would have nightmares and, and feel tons of anxiety like I thought I had a super anxiety issue like no I'm over here sleeping with the enemy I'm sleeping with somebody who feels who wishes bad on me um, you know, there's, um, there is magic in sleep. There is magic in sleeping with someone. Somebody can be sleeping with you and, and start ma and be manifesting their thoughts. You don't know what they're, they're, they're probably saying like, oh yeah, um, make sure she's buying it to me forever. Make sure he's bind. If you're a guy watching, make sure he's binded with me forever. You know they don't gotta give you the spaghetti. If y'all know what I'm talking about, they don't have to give you that spaghetti. They don't have to light a candle. All they have to do is sleep with you and put their intentions out there. Okay. And then you're wondering why you are binded. Okay. I was wondering why I'm, why I'm, why am I, like, dang, I'm about to get on some anxiety medication. Dang, I'm a depressed person. Now I found out, no, I'm not. No, I am not. I was in a trauma bond with somebody who wanted to keep me down, who was doing, uh, whatever, whatever he had on him, it's not on me no more. <laughs> Okay, let me know if you have gone through any of this, okay? And let me tell you, if you are, things will get better. Please stay no contact. Please um, um, pray over your life, okay? And come talk to me at loveandvibrationcoaching.com. That's all for this video. Don't forget to hit like, okay? And share this with somebody who needs it, somebody who's going through it, okay? Bye.